Oh, isn't it? Choosing baby stuff. Especially when I get stuff half of it on my top. I beg your pardon? Well, they're never going to stop a pregnant woman, are they? Are you talking about shoplifting? Well, I'm not taking the shop, just what's in it. Kylie! Well, have you seen how much they charge for stuff these days? It's a rate rip-off. Well, that doesn't mean to say you have to rip them Mom, off. Mom, she's winding you oh, up. Oh, you spoil spot. I had a go in then. Hey, you hurry up, you. You can brush your teeth, yeah? Yeah, I think I'm going to give it a mess. No snogging, then. No, they're shopping. Why? Are you not well? well? Yeah, I'm fine. I just don't fancy dragging myself around town on my day off. Could show a bit more enthusiasm. She's your baby as well, you know. Uh, I don't mind. I get to spend more without him there anyway. You enjoy your day off. Have some chill time. You deserve it. Mm. Oh, actually, do you know what? I'll, I'll come with you if you want. No, it's OK. Uh, would you do me a favour, though? Will you go to the bistro and remind Nick I'm not in till this aft? I did tell him, but he were really busy. I don't think he heard me. Right. Yeah. Get lots of baby grows. They're a godsend. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Well, yes, yes. It is my granddaughter. Yeah, no doubt about that. Oh. No, yeah, pay for me. Leanne, thought I'd better get something or Nick would be cross. Well, you can't get much crosser. How do you mean? Barlow got her a card. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, I know they're supposed to be civil and everything, but Leanne looked well chuffed and Nick looked dead narked. Don't blame him. Was going to push the boat out and get some flowers and all. Glad I didn't now. Mm. Still, she might open these at work and then at least I'll get to try them. Are you having a good day? Yeah, I am, actually. I'll uh, go and have a shower before I get to work. Okie dokie. From the delivery man. Ah, oh, the beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you. I'd like to take the credit, but they're not from me. Oh. Well, that's odd. There's no note. They'll be from our Janice. <laughs> so I know no. Oh, well, you know Jan. Probably in a rush, you know, in her. And these are from me. The chocolates. Ah. Oh. Oh, thanks, Gail. I'll have them later on. <laughs> a bit extravagant for Janice. All right. Happy birthday. Ah, oh, cheers. I'm assuming that lot's not for me. Uh, not unless you've shrunk a few sizes. Baby Aww. clothes. Aww. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> you could have a little mini me on your hands. <laughs> You're going to get some massive dank earrings and all. <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. Ah, cute though, aren't they? Hey, Nick, look at that. Aww. Lovely. You all right? Hey, yeah. I've uh, just come to see what you fancied for your tea. Oh, I don't mind, really. Can I have a look, then? Here's my baby, innit? Of course. Ah, oh, that's nice. They're yeah, cute, aren't they? Blimey. That must have been expensive. Oh, not for me. Really? Who loves you enough to spend a fortune? Oh, they'll be from our Jan. We don't really know, do we? There's no note. That's what you're trying to say. I've got some secret lover. Secret admirer. Don't be daft. So we all know who that'll be. Who? First a card, now flowers. Exactly. Who are you talking about? Peter Barlow. Nah, he's with Carla. And why would you want a digestive when you've got a custard cream? Yeah, with Barlow it's different, though, isn't it? Why would you have one biscuit when you can have two? That from Peter? Yeah. They have to try and get on for Simon's sake. As long as that's all it is. You might not trust Leanne. But I do. It's Peter I don't trust. Don't blame you. Do you know something I don't? No. You tell me if you did. Of course. Why has something happened? It's been going around the flat when I've been out. You asked Leanne? Yeah. She's going to tell me, is she? She knows how I feel about her. Maybe it's me being paranoid. Cards, flowers, secret visits? I don't think so. The home wrecker. You what? You sent those flowers to Leanne. OK. Right, well, if you say I did, then I must have done. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. You stay away from her, do you hear? I'm not having you upsetting my son again. Oh, it's all right, girl. I think he manages that all by himself. You're just jealous. Cos he's got what you wanted. I'm warning you. Do you know what, Gail? 
Why don't you jump on that broomstick of yours and cast your spell somewhere else? Hey, don't talk to my mum like that. Well, she's going to stand there and make these insane accusations about me and Leanne. But there is no you and Leanne. Well, it's over. thank God somebody's talking sense. Well, it's just a pity you can't get it into your head. Do you know what? If I really wanted her, all I'd have to do is click my fingers and she'd come running, because I tell you what, she must be bored out of mind with you. Oh, well, come on, then, what are you waiting for? No, don't make his goading him. Goading him? I stand here and goad him all day, he's not going to do it, he's too scared. What's going on? Oh, nothing to do with me. Why don't you ask him and your demented mother-in-law? Well? Oh. So the accuser behind her back, but not to her face. <laughs> I never accused her. Do you reckon we're having some kind of an affair? I don't know. Why don't you set them straight? Never said that. Oh. Leanne. Leanne, wait, I can explain. Oh, I bet you can. OK, look, this has got out of hand. Say that again. The look on Peter's face, what did you say to him? I asked him if it sent you the flowers. He didn't send me flowers when we were together, so why would he send me flowers now, eh? Mystery flowers arrive. No card, no name. Oh, so you jumped to conclusions. So we're just running through possibilities. Ah, oh, and then everything gets blown out of proportion by you. <laughs> She's just looking out for me. What, by making poisonous accusations? Don't tell me he's not capable. Right, what's going on? I don't know. It just all started kicking off. You think that I'm having an affair with Peter? No. No, of course I don't. I know you're not interested in him. It's just I'm worried he's sniffing around, that's all. And if he did? What do you think I'd say to him? You obviously don't think I'd tell him to take a running jump. Yes. You know, it strikes me the problem isn't between me and Peter. It's between me and you. You don't trust me. I do. Pathetic. Oh, dear. Can anyone tell me? It's just a little tiff. Leanne's furious and I look like some jealous idiot in front of Peter Barlow. It's all your fault. I was only trying to help. Stirring it up more like. Why don't you just keep your nose out? Do you know, this is ridiculous. Why do I always get it in the neck? I was trying to protect you. I still think there's something funny going on. Anyway, from now on, I shall keep my mouth shut. Good. I'm going on. I can't believe a bunch of flowers can cause this much aggro. Yeah. You have some peanuts? No. David! I stole them off my brother. And that amazing woman he likes to keep on his side. Oh, I don't know what you're on about. Well, aren't you the lucky one? Are you going to be eating with us? Depends what it is. A uh, cottage pie, which I hope is to your satisfaction. Oh, that sounds lovely, Gail, but do you mind if we go and have a lie down for ten minutes? I feel absolutely exhausted. Well, yeah, I suppose I can put yours in the oven. Oh, thanks. How she can be tired when all she's done is lie on that sofa? What do you think she's faking? Why don't you go up with her, eh? See, she's all right. Because you suggested it, and I don't do anything you suggest. Did you know that? Well, I should do by now, yes. Yeah, you should. What is the matter with you, David? Has something happened? Has something happened? To make you like this. <sighs> Are you talking worldwide? Because I'm pretty sure something must have happened in the Southern Hemisphere, or was your inquiry more to do well, forget with... Forget I asked, eh? Because if you can't be civil, I'd rather you If I can't be say... civil? Hmm? Maybe I can't. Maybe I've tried. Maybe I've tried harder than what anybody would ever try, all right? Maybe I just can't be civil anymore. Okay. Have a look. Don't want one, thank you. Certainly don't want you throwing it at me. Try again. Catch. Can you stop it, please? I'm your landlord, you know. I can check you out any time I want. Yes, you have mentioned that before, so do you want to? Well, let's say you've got to catch the next three nuts, yeah? And if you don't, you're out. You know, I think you're regressing. I think you're becoming a child again. Yeah, you might be right. You ready? No. One. Stop it. Two. You know, I sometimes think rather than you throwing me out, I'd be doing us both a favour if I left this house anyway. Left you to make your own meals, do your own washing up. Three. Do your own washing and ironing, then maybe you'd realise just how much I do for you. Right, OK. Now you've got one more chance, right? You've still got to catch three nuts, but this time, in your mouth. I have tried and tried to help you put up with your bad behaviour, which, at times, I have to say, has bordered on the deranged. <laughs> Mum, I don't think you're trying. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay sane when sometimes I think I'm the only one who is. 
David! Do you know what? Maybe we do have something in common. <sighs> really? Yeah. Because I sometimes feel like that. That everybody's against me. Especially people in this family. Especially you. Stop mother. it! You're not supposed to look back on your child and it's supposed to be happy, innit? Everybody's supposed to be getting on. Well, mine wasn't like that, though, was it? David! Why? Because we didn't get on, did we? David! Tell me why. Why, why wasn't he like that? What? David! What is going on? She dropped her nuts. Cheers, mate. Oh, we eat some You're the one that cooked it. And why? Because I thought we could have a nice meal together. And we still can. You really think so? All right, come on. Last chance. Open your mouth. David! Not stopping here to be a target for peanuts. What is the matter with you? Nothing. I'm just trying to spread a little peanut shaped happiness, that's I'll all. I'll be at Sally's if you want me. Yeah, okay. Gail, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Sorry for you. What do you think? What's going on? Morning. Morning. Do you fancy a cuppa? Uh, I'd one at Sal's. Right. Are you OK? No. Not really. If it makes you feel any better, I had a right go at David last night. I shouldn't think it made much difference. Thanks, anyway. Excuse me. Mum, wait. What for? Another load of threats and abuse? Look, about yesterday. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, well, we need to talk about it, OK? Look, what I said, what I did, it was totally out of order. I think I'm just worried about money and, and the baby coming. I took it out on you and it all got on top of us, so for that, I'm sorry. OK? No. No, it's not OK. And what happens next time things get on top of you, hey? Who are you going to throw abuse at then? Kylie? Or the baby? No, I won't do that. Really? I'm not so sure anymore. What extra booze you ordered in? Oh, just 12 or so more crates, but I think we're going to need them. Why are you expecting? Shane McGowan. <laughs> Coming tonight, Mum? Well, I suppose I better. Somebody should keep an eye on things. You're all right. You seem a bit quiet. David had a go at her last night. What happened? If you don't mind, I'd rather not go through it again. It was hurtful enough the first time. He did go a bit radio rent even for him. Said he was worried about money and the baby coming. I think there's more to it than that. Do you know if anything's upset him lately? No. Do you want me to have a word? No, leave it. Only make things worse. Should be okay. Excuse me, I'm looking for Leanne Tilsley. Oh, hiya. You? you from the Gazette? Yeah, I'm Naila. Hiya, Leanne. Thanks for coming. Yeah, well, thanks to my sleaze of a boss, I'm not exactly covering the big stories, if you know what I mean. Right. Well, I've uh, put a table aside so we can have a chat. Can I get you a drink on the house, of course? Mm. Dry out wine. Small, medium, large? Massive. Who's that? Reporter from the Gazette, they're doing a story on us. Must be a slow news day. Oh, give us a break, Gail. I'm doing my best here. Yeah, to be fair, it's not normally this busy on a Monday. See? <sighs> be slightly coarse and have dubious dress sense. But she makes a fantastic pink lady. You'll have to try one with me. Why not? Seems I'm here already. See? You're beginning to enjoy yourself after all. I wouldn't go that far, but uh, considering the reputation most students have, <laughs> It's not been bad. You know, that's one of my biggest regrets in life, not going to university. Well, that and not marrying Richard Clayderman, obviously. <laughs> well, there's always hope. That's what I admire about you. Well, well, despite your many romantic disasters that you've suffered over the decades, you're like a boxer who's been beaten and battered around the rim. You might be bruised and you might be bloodied, but you will never give up. Come on, you can cough up a sound bite. Okay, zero tolerance. That sound bitey enough? How old are you? What's that got to do with anything? It just sounds better if there's an age. You know, like the accused, 37. Well, no one's accused him yet. It's an example. Do you want to know what you can do with your example? David, I'm 32, okay? Don't wind her up. 
dread to think what she's going to put in the Gazette. I'm sorry. I know you're doing it because you care. Why don't I let Leanne talk me into this? Because you're soft. If you do find any evidence of drugs on the premises, phone this number. I want to know who phoned you. I'll just let him go, Leanne. He was anonymous. No, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be able to just phone up a bar and get it raided. There should be checks. Thanks. <sighs> I half expected to be strip searched. Max! Your tea! Uh, not too much for me, Gail. I don't like being too full before an evening shift. Well, let's hope we don't have the same dramatics as last night. Yeah, tell me about it. If that journalist has stuck me on front page, I'm going to batter her. No, I saw the Gazette earlier. Not sausage. Yeah, I'm probably too busy hacking people's phones. David, will you stop doing that, please? Who do you think you are, Ringo Starr? Mm, well, there's always tomorrow, I suppose. Oh, God, I'm dreading it. Well, then don't go in. Throw a sick here. We won't say out, will we, Mum? No, I'm dreading the paper coming out. Oh, right. Anyway, as much as I'd like to slob round here all night watching telly, I can't let Nick down. You're so professional, aren't you? Nick's one of the good guys. Tuck in. Might need some salt. Yeah, I'll get it. Max! Has it been all right? <sighs> Thanks, love. I won't be long. Max is in bed. Do you think this is wise? I've got to know sometime. I remember what I said, even if I sounded disingenuous. Mm, swallowed a dictionary. Have you seen this, Nick? Sorry? What is it? This is what happens when somebody invites the press in. Oh, my. Oh, no wonder I've had cancellations left, right and centre. Just had a table of ten drop out. Well, this is a nightmare. Local bistro raided by police. It's not even like they found anything. What's going on? Your front page news. Well, page three. Oh, I always want to be a page three girl. It's not funny, Kyle. <gasps> God. Mm. There weren't even any drug taking going on. Well, so Leanne said. And she used to be a druggie. Oh, thanks for that, Gail. Yeah, I knew last night was a mistake. Oh, yeah, just make out it was all my fault. Actually, it was a good idea. Oh, yeah, because this was a really good idea. Oh, shut your face, Kate. Okay, it doesn't matter whose fault it was. We're going to face facts. This, this doesn't bode well for business. Don't say it, Mother. Thanks, Mum. said, that's the best sea bass they've ever tasted. And table four said we've got the two best-looking waitresses in Weatherfield. Have they asked where she is yet? Who? Oh, Leanne. They're always flirting with us, that lot. Oh, I didn't realise they'd been in before. Right, who's having these whiskers? Two. Still, we're running a smooth enough ship on our own, aren't we? Gail, we're a speedboat. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I was just saying we're running a smooth enough... Yeah, yeah, enough. I heard that. Um, Kylie. Do you need Anne tonight? Grand says she doesn't mind minding Max. No, I think we can go. Right, two whiskies and a brandy. I think I'll have a brandy tonight. What are you waiting on now? Double vodka and orange. Double vodka and orange. You having a nice afternoon, David? Um, yeah, it's pretty dreary, really, like the same as every other afternoon. You should take a leaf out of your brother's book. He's a lot sonnier than you. I can't wait. Yeah, it's the pillow, I'll be asleep. Did you get my text? I did, yeah. It's wrong. Oh, what would I do without you, eh? Did you run in your bath? Give us two minutes and uh, I'll be out of your way. I just want to clear me clear. Did you put some of that stuff in, like I asked? Uh, the purple one, I couldn't find the green. Oh, that'll do. Ta. It's well done. Yeah. In that house. Well, could we not talk about it anymore, please? So, did you get any nice presents? Apart from your list of expensive repairs, you mean? I bought you a nice present. Yes, a bangle. It should not go to... No! Well, it, it didn't seem to go with this colour. Oh, come on, Audrey. It's your birthday. Hi. Deirdre! Happy birthday, Audrey. Oh! Oh, I say. Oh, no! <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Well, my pottery teacher said it was a one-off. I didn't really want to part with it, but seeing as you need one in the salon... <laughs> it makes all the difference knowing it's going to be on public display. Yes, it does. It does. Thank you so much, Deirdre. No. <laughs> now, what can I get you? Yeah, another drink, Audrey. <laughs> no, it's my round. Oh, right. Oh, I mean... Look, just because it's my birthday doesn't mean I can't buy the drinks. Well, I'll get them. You've already got a round, Deirdre. Huh? Oh, no. Not bad news. Oh. 
Yeah, it's a text from my grandson, Nick. He can't make it. <laughs> Thank you, my family, for making such a terrific effort. What can I get you? Same again, Mandy, please, all round. Are you by it? It seems like it, yes. On your birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Hey. Oh, is something the matter? <sighs> it's Owen. He's found some more damp today, and he reckons it's going to be another £600 at least. Oh, <laughs> some birthday presents. Can you not claim it on your house insurance? Yeah, I'm going to look into that, Rita. Is your building policy up to date? Building policy? It, it, it means your building's insurance, you know, against damage, deterioration, an act of God. Oh, I see. Well, uh, personally, um, I've always believed that the best insurance against an act of God is regular worship. Oh, no offence, Emily, but uh, what faith I've got has been sorely tested by this. I mean, I'm just about ready to go and deal with the other bloke. Oh, come on, <laughs> ma'am. At least you're not in Ailey's shoes. Oh, of course, yes, you're right. Ridiculous under the circumstances. It's just bricks and mortar, isn't it? Mm. I thought that... Hayley was remarkably composed in the circumstances. Mm. I don't think I would be. I mean, she's not even very old, is she? Well, she's younger than me. That's not saying much, love. Oh. If anything happens to her, I don't know how I'll cope. It doesn't bear thinking about. I know if I lost Leanne. Well, it just goes to show we should count our blessings while we can. No. However thin on the ground they may be. Come on, to Hayley. Get well soon. Get well soon. That was smashing. So, are you going to help me with this meal you've arranged for tonight? No. Yeah. 50 quid should cover it, shouldn't it? Oh, so not only do I have to cook it, I have to go buy it and all. Well, I'm working. You think I enjoy shoving a loo brush down the toilets in the bistro every morning? But he's looking forward to it tonight. And anyway, Nick and Liam need our support with the trouble they're in. When was the last time we had grand round? For dinner? Yeah. Not since all that business with Lewis. Yeah, exactly. Everybody round, one table, one big happy family. You love all that. Yeah, but you don't. Well, no, I never used to. But when the baby comes along, I don't want it coming into a family where people are tearing each other to bits. Nick and Liam are not tearing each other to bits. They're not in a good place, Mum. You can bury your head in the sand all you like, but with the trouble they've got at work, and with Peter Barlow always coming between them. Well, I didn't realise things were that bad. I don't know what I'm going to cook tonight. A chicken's easy. I can't cook chicken midweek. It'll put me all out of kilter. Well, never mind about the chicken. The important thing is that we're there for Nick and Leanne, all right? Even if it means giving them some proper own truths. I'll see you later. See ya. You're right. I've got a lot to be grateful for, and neither head's knocking together. <laughs> I'm going for a sleepover. Oh, it's all right for some. I did offer to help you, Mum. No, she didn't. What did you decide on in the end? Join the pork. Ha! Ow. Did you get the wine? Oh, I knew there was Oh, for... Sorry. Someone else's job. I've been slaving in this kitchen all morning. Maybe it is you. Yes, thank you very much, Kylie. I'm well aware of that. I'm going upstairs to get showered and changed. She's been like that all afternoon. You know, you know how she gets when she's got to cook for a lot of people. She always panics and thinks it's going to turn out rubbish. Well, let's hope not goes wrong tonight. The mood she's in, she's liable to bite someone's head off if they look at her the wrong way. Yeah. And we need her in the right frame of mind as well, don't we, to deal with Nick and Liam. I didn't realise things were that bad between Nick and Liam. Yeah. Yeah, I just worry she's sniffing around Barlow again. Well, she better not be, because I still haven't forgotten what happened on Christmas Day. Oh. I don't believe it. This pork's barely cooked. Hello, Mother. How are you? Don't you look nice? Yes, I'm sorry, Mum. It's just that the joint's barely warm and I, I know I put it in on gas mark five. Oh, well, no, come on. You can't be too careful with Paul. Yes, all right. Thank you, Mum. I don't know that. Excuse me. I'll do it. Well, uh, I'll get my own drink, shall I? Eh? <clears throat> uh, uh, can't see the wine. Didn't you bring any? Hey, Mum. Right, Gail. Hi, Audrey. How's it going? Well, there's no wine and the pork's raw, so take a while, I guess. Nick, did you bring any wine? 
No, we didn't. I said we should have got some from the bistro. I'll go and get some now. Oh, OK. I don't want you fighting in the street en route. You've been scrapping with Eva in the factory. Uh, do you mind? I'm not the one who's going around making out that Peter's some sort of restaurant terrorist. Look, why don't we all just sit down and have a nice drink? Because there isn't any. Right, I'm going. Oh, dear. Why, man? Has it been like that all day? Oh, try all week. David. Go on, nip across the road to Deb's and get some snacks. I have a feeling that uh, dinner is going to be quite a while. I know I put this on Mark 5. And as for you, young lady, I would like to know exactly what's going on between you and my grandson. Are you settling in at the factory? Thank you, Sophie. Hiya, sweetheart. Do you know, it's not easy working together, Leanne. Mm, yeah, I know. And if some tour rag from another restaurant's trying to ruin the place, I'll be fuming and all. He's worked his backside off to make it a success. Yeah, I know he is. But even with all that, I'd give that place up tomorrow if you asked him. Because he's that kind of bloke. Should you really be sticking your nose in that business? Uh, this was all your idea. There you go. Nick bought a crate full. Well, what about the dinner? <laughs> ah, dinner! Oh, there he is! <laughs> Six of the Ooh. finest steaks, dough from wild potatoes and green beans. Top result, Nicholas. Oh. Uh, all you got to do is take the foil off, Graham. All right, right. Who wants a refill? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Look, I know how much the bistro means to you, and of course you're worried someone's out to get you. I'm sorry. I'll talk to the staff. I don't think half of them would have come back if it wasn't for you. Yeah, and we would have missed this lovely evening. <laughs> Right, now that's you two sorted, let's get on with the scrum. Here, here. Everybody to the table, yes, please. Quick, while it's hot. Oh. Oh. Well done for saving the day, Nicky boy. Yet again. Oh, this looks yummy. Oh, what would we do without you, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel's nine months because he wasn't walking. Oh, that's not. Anyway, the phone goes, so I pop him into his playpen and just to give him something to play with, I chuck in an orange. <laughs> an orange? Well, she hadn't left him any time. Oh, yes, my fault now. Do we have to hear this story again? Oh, sure up. I've not heard it. No, I'm not sure I ever believe it. It is true. I could only have been on that phone, you know, for about half a minute and I come back. <laughs> The orange had disappeared. It had gone. Well, they would have chucked it out of the playpen. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm just tired. It were a really great idea, yours, this. It's nice to see Nick and Leanne happy again. Yeah. Do you know what made me really happy? What? Some chocolate ice cream. Do you want me to go get you some? Yeah, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Leave it with me. OK. <laughs> No, Mrs. Clark, he has been having a right ding dong. Why? What's happened? No idea. What are you doing? If they want privacy, they should have their eyes at home. How would you how would you feel if it was you? Well, I could just as well say, why you believe in that letter instead of your own husband? Well, I wasn't until my husband started lying to me. I'm not lying. Well, then tell me who you were with. Well, not with you. No. Why? Because there was someone else you'd rather be with. So it's not my fault, is it? I was on my own on our wedding night. Yes. Yes, it was. So just remember that before you start accusing me of anything. I will. Yeah. Because they know now. Oh, fantastic. Great to see you, mate. Right. Mary. They haven't got an anonymous letter saying I was with somebody on what should have been our wedding night. What have you said? It's a lie, which is ironic, because I'm the one who's lying. Believe me, that's not something I like doing. Yeah, but she don't believe you. Well, Nick, I heard the way she was going on. She thinks I'm hiding something. She thinks I know who's written it. Well, maybe you do. Maybe we both do. I mean, it's got to be somebody that remembers everything that happened. Like you? Me? Yes. Well, it's got to be somebody who remembers. And that boils down to who exactly? Me, you, Mum, David. Why would I do that? Why would anybody? Did you write it? <laughs> Me? Well, it makes just as much sense as saying I might have. Hi, David. You all right? Yeah, I just had a cancellation, yeah, on the last client of the day, and she was dead sorry, and I was like, oh, great. Actually, I'm sick and tired of looking at old ladies' heads. <laughs> How are you? You all right? Yeah, I'm OK. You look nice. <laughs> hey, do you want to go for a drink? No. Yeah, I just thought, before you get really busy, I'll buy you one. Oh, no, I'm not buying you one at all. Buy me one what? Uh, Leah, let me just check the reservations. He's taking Nick for a drink. Well, somebody needs to. 
He's having a really bad time with Liam. How come? We don't know, do we? No idea. So, you know, if you could get him to talk. Yeah, I'll do that. Fear not, Mumsy. And when I do get Big Brother to open up, you'll be the first to know. I mean, if anything, he looks more like Tina. Yeah, it's not possible, though. She gave birth to him. Yeah, but genetically, she's not related to him at all. Oh, I don't understand any of it. Hey, have you cleaned your boots? Yeah. I'm going to take him for a kick about on the red rack at lunchtime. Oh, lucky you. He can come with us if you like. I prefer cricket this time. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Hello. Hiya. Uh, could you open up? Only Jan's got to take Simon to a mate. Yeah, OK. I'm going swimming this afternoon. I'm playing football. Right, see you. Bye -bye. Yeah, come on. You haven't had your breakfast yet. Can see a coffee in the calf? Uh, I can't. I'm working. Yeah, and so are you. What about lunch? Let me buy you lunch in town. I would. I'm playing footy with Max, though. What about after work? What about it? I've got to pick up some wine from a new supplier. I could do with a hand. Oh, yeah, what's this? Oh, just a, an old mate run. You never said. Do we get to San Paul de Vino? <laughs> yeah. As much as you like it, I'll be driving. All right, yeah, count me in. So who's this supplier? Like I said, an old mate. Well, how long's it going to take? A couple of hours. Uh, so me and Kylie are going to be on our own? Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> Good job we're not busy, innit? Uh, see you later. Come on, you. John. Does David seem OK to you? Uh, well, you know David. He's up, he's down. Has he said anything? About what? Oh, I don't know. Well, he's worried about all this trouble. He doesn't like you being targeted. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. It's been great, you know, really supportive. Oh, look, uh, I'm sorry about this morning. Well, you don't need to take it out on me or Simon. We're on your side. Yeah, you and Simon are my number one priority. Really? Yeah. Do anything to protect you. Why do we need protecting? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you and Kylie going to be all right tonight? Yeah, we'll manage. I'm sorry about this wine thing. It's just Greg's made me an offer I can't refuse. I got to check it out. Okay. Look, I love you. I always have, and I always will. Mm. You got a funny way of showing it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try harder. I promise. <laughs> I'll top of the ring. Made it up to get you on your own. I know. You know what? I know you know. This is some sort of riddle. I spoke to Tina. So what? How do you find out? Find out what? Oh, come on, you know what. But I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. What happened on Christmas Day? You tell me, you, you were the one in the honeymoon suite. I slept with Kylie. It's a mistake. I'm both in a bad way. I know it's you. You campaign against me, your revenge. Come on, David. David, we need to talk about this. This seems to have come right. OK. Listen to this. It was a mistake. Never meant anything to either of us. So why'd you do it? I don't know. It was a crazy night. I've been dumped by Leanne. You've been horrible to Kylie. Both of our relationships are over. How convenient. No. Really? I was no plan. Nothing's happened before or since. We're just both in a bad place. 
You should try my place right now. Oh, no. You know nothing? No. But we have to deal with it. Yeah? And how do we do that? I don't know. At least we all know the truth. It was you, wasn't it? Trashing my flat. Attacking the bistro. Leon's flowers. A mystery letter. Why don't you say anything? Say what? <laughs> How could you keep something like that to yourself? Well, you managed it. For months, you and my wife and our lovely mother. Is that everybody or d does Max know? Even Grant, I bet the old street knows, don't they? I bet they're all laughing at me. If I could go back... You know, at first I wanted to kill you both. And then I wanted to kill myself. And then I realised that despite everything... I still love Kyla. And I make you pay. Trace, can we go back yeah. inside? Give him Max his tea. Thanks. Have they phoned? Who? David and Nick. No. Tasting wine is a serious business. Only I said I'd go around to Sal's later. Can't leave Max in the house on his own. Where is he now? I'm watching telly. On his own? Well, just for two minutes. Hey, <gasps> Holly, look. Just tell David as soon as he gets back to come on over. Doesn't matter how drunk he is. Right, I will. I don't think anything's happened to you. Yeah, exactly was the point of that letter. Got you worried? Yeah, of course it got me worried. Could have blown the whole thing sky high. Yeah, I loved watching you sweat and you had no idea it was me. <laughs> that made you feel better. Yeah, it did. It wasn't just me you were hurting. It was Leanne, Simon, they'd done nothing wrong. Collateral damage. Do you care about anyone else? Do you? Yes. Really? Tell me, who did you care about, Nick, the night you slept with my wife? Come on, tell me. What exactly was going through your mind? I mean, you were meant to be marrying Leanne, weren't you? But somehow you ended up in bed with Kylie. I don't feel wrong with you at all. I wish it never happened. Didn't just happen. <laughs> you had a choice, and you made that choice. Who were you thinking about? Weren't me. I'm sorry. If Simon got hurt, or if Leanne got hurt, then that's your fault, right? Nobody else's. Now. I I stood on the edge of a cliff and I thought about jumping off because of you. My wife's pregnant and it could be your baby. All this, everything's your fault. Hello, love. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, North Korea's nicest time of year. <laughs> Stick your leads. Leanne's got friends there, but to be close to Simon. What, and you get away scot-free? Happily ever after for Nick and Leanne? OK, so what do you want? Well, how about you move away, Leanne stays here, and you hand me the keys to the bistro? <laughs> this isn't a negotiation. Yeah, it is. You slept with my wife, you owe me. I've said I'm sorry. Well, it's not good enough. I want more. What if I slept with Leanne, right? Would I just be able to say sorry and that'd be it, that we'd all move on? OK, what do you want? You know what I want? Me, to suffer. Well, I am suffering. You never made a mistake? Look, I know I'm in the wrong here, but the way you were treating Kylie that night, you've got to take some responsibility. Oh, I've made some bad jokes in my time. You slept with my wife. Who's the bad guy? Me. But the vendetta has to stop. I'm just getting warmed up. I mean it. Yeah, so do I. You can't do anything now. I know it's you. Who's that? Who's Kylie? Is it Kylie? Why would it be Kylie? Well, you slept with her. <laughs> Give it in. No. Don't answer it. Give it in. Oh, Give it in. Oh. Ah! Bleeding. Well, it's a start. Just one time.
Oh, is that supposed to make it feel all right? It's the truth. But then why lie to me? You lied to me, Kylie did, my mum lied to me. Yeah, and you know why? Why? Because we love you. Oh, you mean like Tina loved me when she aborted my baby? Or when my dad loved me when he ran off? You know, there must be something wrong with me, because it seems everybody who's ever said they've ever loved me always ends up kicking me in the teeth. Come on, that's not true. Well, that's what it feels like. We just wanted to protect you. Do you have any idea what you've done? My wife could be carrying your baby. Yeah, but the chances are it's your baby. But you don't know that. Nobody knows that. That was my future, and you could have destroyed me and Kylie. That's why I want to destroy you. Why did you have to make such a fuss? There's one thing we agree on. We're going home. And say so what? The truth. No. Uh, there's no point lying anymore. I mean, you know everything. Yeah, well, Kylie doesn't know I know. But you can't just pretend like nothing happened. What do you think Leanne's going to say? You think she's just going to smile and forgive you for cheating on her? I don't know. Wouldn't say that chance. Yeah, well, I'm not. It's the only way. You spend months lying to me, now all of a sudden you want to tell the world. The truth is the only thing that will give us a chance of moving forward. No! No, telling Kylie will be the end. She loves you. I can't do it. It will be OK. No, it won't. If she knows, if she knows, she's going to start talking about it and making excuses and, and she'll try and defend it. I don't want to see that. But you can't just bury your head in the sand. I was doing okay. You were trying to destroy me. Look, I know this is all my fault, but at least give me a chance to fix it. If everybody knows, it's going to tear us apart. So what do we do? Exactly. There's no alternative. We're going home. might pick up later. Oh, I doubt it. Once the play starts going downhill, it's hard to stop it. Just to let you know Sally's come round tonight, so no need to worry. I will not worried. Were you worried? No, not really. <laughs> Boy's not back yet. No. Not phoned? Well, I tried Nick before, but there was no answer. Well, Nick might be driving. He wouldn't answer the phone if he was driving. Yeah. I reckon this wine tasting's just gone on longer than expected. <laughs> we'll be having a great time. Yeah. And it's not like we're busy here. Anyway, no panic. All quiet on the home front. OK. Right. Let's get back to Sally, then. Come just take a nice bottle of Chardonnay, could I? Um, yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Cold one. <gasps> Cheers. There you go. See you later. See you later. Is there... Oh, I came as soon as I got your message. Is there any news? No, we've, we've just asked reception, but they haven't brought him in yet. But where are they? Is that Nick? And that's David. Well, how do we get to him? David, it's me. Are you OK? What about Nick? Is he all right? Oh, come on. It's OK. He's in safe hands. I don't think any of us can. Oh. And why have they taken him? I don't know, but you'd think they'd tell us. Well, why don't they, then? Look, we haven't been here that long, darling. I <sighs> suppose not. What else did David say? I've already told you everything. Well, did you ask him if they'd been drinking? No, I didn't have time. You know, Nick was in a really weird mood this morning. And he was all right again. Did you ask if they'd been arguing? Well, uh, had they driven into something, or had something driven into them? Leanne, look, if I knew anything else, I'd tell you, right? Just to keep you all posted. Is there any news? Nick's got a bad head injury. We've sent him for a CT scan. What does that mean? It's to give us a better idea of exactly what's wrong. But he's going to be okay. I'm afraid he's in a critical condition. What about David? He seems okay. Uh, we're keeping him overnight just as a precaution, but if you'd like to come and see him now. Oh, can we? Hello. This blue and pink stuff's a weird one, isn't it? There he is. Oh, David. Oh, thank God. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just a snip we need to be worried about. Well, you you know they've taken him for a scam. Is he still unconscious? Yeah. So how did it happen? Uh, I don't know, really. Um, it all happened so fast, it's like, it's like it was a blur. Well, you must know something. Had you been drinking? No, that's it. We didn't even get to the wine place. We couldn't find it. And was Nick driving? Yeah. And he started to lose control. We, we were swerving all over the road, and then um, this lorry came out of nowhere and just, just ploughed into us. The next thing I remember, 
Um, I, I woke up and he was still unconscious. Why did he lose control? I don't know. Well, you were there. Yeah, but I weren't watching him. Well, you must have seen something. No, I didn't. I don't think you should press him right now. Yeah, sorry. He might say he's OK, but he's still in shock. He needs plenty of rest. Mrs Tilsley? Yeah. I'm Miss Morrison, consultant neurosurgeon. I'm looking after your husband. How is he? Nick's scan shows he has a large blood clot pressing on his brain. We have to take him to theatre immediately. Is he going to be all right? We have to remove the blood clot or he's going to die. Well, when will we know if he... I'll come and talk to you once we've finished. N now, if you'll excuse me. He's going to be all right. He's going to die. He can't die. No, come on now. Let's all get a good oh, shot. I don't think I can stand this. He's going to be all right. Yeah? And what if he's not? Fancy a coffee? No, thanks. How's David? If you're asking whether he's well enough to be cross-examined, the answer's no. <laughs> Why don't you try talking to him? It might help. Off it, Gail. The last thing Nick needs is me in his ear again. Oh, my God. Is David still sleeping? Morning. Morning. Now, I know you spoke to one of my colleagues shortly after the operation, but this is where we are. I'm pleased to say the surgery went very well. We were able to remove the blood clot and stop the bleeding. However, Nick could still develop brain swelling, so we're keeping him on a life support machine. He will wake up. We've induced the coma. It's the best way we have of controlling the situation. We can only wake him up when we're happy his condition is sufficiently stable. He will make a full recovery. Your son came through the operation in good shape, but he has had major brain surgery. At this moment, we have to just take it day by day. We have brain damage. I'm afraid it's too early to know that. Y you'll have to excuse me. Nick, can you come through this? Know that for a fact, there you go. I trust it all needs that. to stop the swelling on the brain or something. To be honest, I couldn't really take it all in. And he hasn't woke up at all? So he's not said anything? No. But he's going to be all right, David. You've got to believe it. I'm serious, your brother's got way too much to live for. How's Leon doing? She's hanging in there. I hate to ask, but you don't remember anything more about the accident, do you? Morning, love. Hi. Have you told him? Just now. Come on. I'll take you to see Nick. What? The doctor said it was OK. Um. Yeah, maybe later. I'm just feeling a bit dizzy. Do you want me to get the nurse? No, no, I'll be fine. It's just a lot to take in. No, it's OK. Maybe it's best you don't see him just yet. Oh, my. I'm so scared. I'll be around in a little while. That's good. Hopefully you'll be discharged. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, that's right, right. Thanks, Mum. Hiya. Hi. How are you feeling? I just want to get out of here, to be honest. Sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. It's all right, forget it. Have the uh, police been in to see you yet? Not yet. I don't know how much help I could be, really. So you haven't remembered anything else, then? No, it's like I said. I got lost, and somehow Nick lost control. Are you sure Nick hadn't been drinking? Oh, look, now, why don't we leave it to the police, Leon? Look, Gran, Gran, it's fine. 
I'm sure, Leo. He just doesn't make any sense. Nick's such a safe driver. I'm, I'm always telling him to speed up. It's become like a running joke between us. I don't know. Somehow he just got distracted. I think his phone rang at one point. Oh, God. Oh, God, please don't say it was his phone because I phoned him. Le Leanne. I was just worried Le about listen the to me. Listen to me, all right? <laughs> Whatever happened, none of this is your fault. Come on, sweetie. Come on, monkey, should we go for a wonder? Get your book or something, yeah? I don't want a book. Well, you're gonna get bored stood here, aren't you? Come on, keep me company. But what if something bad happens with Nick? It won't. Promise. Okay? Won't be long. You look exhausted. I'm fine. Why don't you go home, hey? Get some sleep? No, not till I've spoken to the police. That could be hours, yeah. Gay, I'll save your breath. I'm not going anywhere. Hi. Um, I hope I'm not intruding. No, of course you're not. Everyone sends a love. We're all thinking of you. Thanks. How's Nick? It's hard to say at the moment. David? The doctors have discharged him. So soon? That's fantastic. Is he around? He's with Nick. Oh, um. Would it be okay if I put my head in? Sure. You know what say? Well, we did right to bring him home. Well, he shouldn't have been there in the first place. Kylie. I know Liam means well, but I wouldn't have taken Max. I bet that kid will have nightmares tonight. And what would you have done? Just shoved it under the carpet, pretended it never happened? <sighs> will you sit down, you? You've been on pins since you got home. I'm, um. I'm gonna go back. I'm no use here. Well, you'll be no use at the hospital either. Cheers. <sighs> David, even if Nick comes out of the coma, he has been through major brain surgery, darling. I mean, he's not gonna hop out of bed and go dancing around the room. It's gonna be a long haul. And you'll wish he saved your strength because it's when he's up and about, walking and talking, that's when he's gonna need you by his side. <sighs> Come here. <sighs> I've been going crazy. I know it's selfish, and I'd never say this in front of Leanne. I can't stop thinking how close we came to losing you. The thing is, I've got that never... copper with her. Hey, yeah, uh, um, this is PC Collins. Oh, oh hello, officer. Can I, um, can I get you a cup of tea? <laughs> no, thank you. I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the investigation into the collision is continuing. But the preliminary report shows that there were no signs of defects with the tyres and that the engine was well maintained. Yeah, well, it, it's just a works van, but Nick does look after it. Well, we'll continue to examine it. And we've decided to inform CID about the incidents that you mentioned, just in case there is a link. Oh, really? Yeah, they may want to speak to some of the people around, Mr Tilsley. Yeah, well, we'll all be glad to help, won't we? Yeah, anything they need. Of course. And we've still got the driver's statements to go through. Um, do you mean the, the lorry driver? We put out an appeal. Two new witnesses have come forward, saying they were in oncoming traffic. Oh, so they would have had a front view of the van, then? Yeah, I mean, if a fox ran out into the road, say, or Mr Tilsley lost control of the wheel, they'd be best place to spot it. Oh, right. Well, thanks. We really appreciate everything you're doing, don't we? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, it looks nice. Thanks. I wanted to look my best for him. I know it's daft. No, it's not daft at all. Come on. Right. Oh, good, you got one. So what, do you want a newspaper? Well, well I yeah. thought we could read bits out to him. You know, if we got stuck for something to say. Well, I won't be a bit away, you, so what's the point? David, you don't know that. He might. Yes, of course he will. I mean, hearing our voices will help, David. I'm sorry, I'm just tired, that's all. Well, it's all this running around. It's too much for you. Why don't you stop here, look after Max, and I'll go? Oh, that'll be Leanne. She's right. You've not recovered yourself. Yeah, all right. Hi, Hiya. Hiya. Um, is it all right if Sai stays here? No, I want to go with you. No, come on. That's not helping your mum, is it, arguing with her? Yeah, and you can stay here and, and help David look after Max. But no running in ragged, OK? Um, any more news from the police? Well, I rang them before, but they said they haven't cooperated witness statements yet, whatever that means. And they say they're going to look into the hate campaign, but I don't think they mean it. Well, you have to admit it, there's a bit of a difference from a few nasty comments online to someone trying to kill somebody. Yeah, well, it wasn't just that, there was a whole list of stuff. Oh, 
do you know what? It's my own fault. I mean, how can I expect them to take it seriously when I was the one playing it all down? If I'd just listened to Nick in the first place, well, then... You've you got to stop blaming yourself. None of this is your fault. No, he's right. I'm sure they're looking into it. They're probably just being very thorough. I thought we could tie him on to the end of the night. Close the bistro for now so you don't have to worry. You're not going to be the only one getting a lie in. Well, wouldn't be the same without you there anyway, would it, lovey? I mean, Nick's bistro without the Nick. I'm so sorry that was the stupid thing to say. I'm not good at this. No, it's all right, Audrey. You're doing brilliant. Bet you'd be pleased to get out of here, eh? All of us whittering on at you. Mum. Oh, Carl, not with you? No, we couldn't go see on the flight. He's coming back tomorrow. I didn't realise it was this bad. I just didn't want to worry you. Oh, come on, I'm here now. Swelling still hasn't reduced, unfortunately, so we need to keep him sedated and ventilated. So, how long do you think it'll take? Could be a couple of weeks, but hopefully less. So when he does come round, how will he be? It's hard to know what the damage might be when he's still so heavily sedated. When you say damage, what are we talking about? As I say, it's hard to know yet. Yeah, I know, but you must have some idea, because I need to prepare myself just yeah, in case... Yeah, please. I... Sorry, Gail, but I do. Well, his memory could be affected, his concentration could be impaired, or his speech. Then there are possible physical consequences. Lack of balance or coordination. He might find even simple tasks hard to do. But a lot of this can be helped with physiotherapy. Anything else? Why is that not enough? It's common for patients to be affected emotionally. There could be extreme mood swings, sudden outbursts of anger, panic attacks, depression. So, what you're saying is, I could find myself married to a total stranger? Or you could find he makes a very good recovery. It's not likely, though, is it? We'll have to wait and see. Well, at least now I know. waiting. Okay. But what if there's worse to come? Don't talk to yourself, love. Look, we've got to try and stay positive. Yeah, that's all we've got, really. Hope. Every time I see him, I'm just saying the same thing over and over in my head. Please don't die. Please don't die. That's all I care about. But even if he does wake up, he could be in a terrible state. That's all ifs and buts, Leanne. It's pure speculation. And I don't think we need to have our heads filled with that. It's like the consultant says, we're just going to have to wait and see. Sorry, Gail, but I just had to know. I know. I'm just not sure everybody else did. Sorry. Perhaps next time, just take the consultant to one side, eh? Point taken. I'm sorry if you think I'm fussing. Even at his age, I still think of him. My baby. We all deal with things differently. I think Leanne would rather know what she's up against. Could be up against. Could be. Just that, you know, you were talking about doing a rota for visiting Nick. Well, I want to be there every day. Like, all day, every day. I want to be there when he wakes up. You look awful. Have you eaten anything? Yeah, I've had some toast. One piece this morning. No lunch? David, you've got to eat something. She's right. You don't want to be passing out or having another seizure. Some pasta left. No, I'm not hungry. I'll leave it. But where are you going? Where do you think? David, you've been once today already. Well, then I'll sleep there, then. This is my chance to show him what being a brother's all about. Look, sorry, I can't stop. I'm late opening up. Well, I'll be in this afternoon, and David said will help out once he's done in the salon. Oh, right. Well, tell him thanks, but there's no need, because I've got cover, and I just need to keep busy. All right, but if you change your mind... Yeah, I'll let you know. Come on, let's get going. Carl, I've left you free time. Must have been about three or four. I had a convulsion. Well, I didn't know that that's what it was at the time. 
We were just sitting watching telly and suddenly he went all floppy. Just seemed to pass out. I was terrified. Kept shaking him, saying, don't die. Don't die. Never felt more helpless in all my life. What was it? Febrile convulsion. Quite common, apparently. Any news? No. I'll tell you what, when I got that call, my heart was in my mouth. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye. And I know sometimes I've thought that... I was worried that Nick wasn't the one that you really loved. Now I know how much you love my boy. I'm sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. Shall we? Um, they said that you've reduced the sedation. And that's correct. That's good. The swelling on Nick's brain is significantly reduced, so we'd like to assess his ability to breathe on his own and hopefully come off the life support. And what if he can't? They know what they're doing. All I can say at this point is the early signs are encouraging, but this is the start of a long process. And, of course, we still don't know what damage has been done. But you are pleased he's making progress. Things are moving in the right direction. We have to just take things one step at a time. And the first of these is to get him off that life support machine. I just want him to wake up. But I'm off. I've got a good feeling about today. Hey, come here, mate. This is good for Charlie's mum, yeah? Hello. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. No, listen, wait. Um, do you have to go into work? I thought maybe just the three of us could do something nice, like go out for tea. Oh, I can't. We're at full stretch over there. And besides, Max is going to his mates. And you'd kick yourself if your brother woke up and you weren't there. He'd want to see you. No, I don't think so. I think he'd be more interested in you and Leon. Don't be daft. He thinks the world of you. Gail's right. Anyway, we'll have plenty of time for days out in the future. All four of us. See ya. Did you get another box of Tell you what, if I read any more of these posters, I'll be three quarters of the way to being a doctor. If I was a hypochondriac, I'd need a pig in blindfold. Oh, yeah. Have you heard anything? No, oh, they're still assessing him. Thanks for coming. Where else would we be? Mrs. Tilsley? Yeah. We've examined your husband and he's made good progress overnight. So we'd like to proceed with removing the ventilator. Okay. Now, there's no guarantee that he won't be put back on it, but he's young, fit. So I'm genuinely hopeful he'll be able to breathe on his own. Do you know, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. With, with everything that's going on, I completely forgot to pay my credit card bill. Will you help me do it online? Hi, Tina. Hi. I mean, I'm damned if I'm going to let them charge me their ridiculous late fees. I've got my bill. We can do it on the computer. Yeah, yeah. OK. Tar. Couldn't be more wrong. I swear. David, I'm due at the hospital. I'll be back. I know what answers. And I thought when you're better, we can all go on holiday together. We've never done that, have we? We could go see Sarah Lou in Italy. Yeah? Wonder how her and Kylie would get on. Both very strong minded. Pair of proper little madams. Actually, maybe I'll call me on. Anyway, I'm going to read your style, Sam. You may have been. You may have been feeling out of sorts recently. Yeah, well, that's spot on. It's time to put that exercise. Regime into action. Yeah. Chance to be a fine thing. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Um, I I've been meaning to say, um, what you said to Leanne the other day. Well, I have only told her the truth. And if ever there was a time for truth, it's now. Well, it meant a lot to her. Well, she means a lot to Nick. 
I've been terrible to Leanne sometimes over the years. Right, sanctimonious cow. Yeah. And the way she's been there for him, every step of the way. Yeah. Had to practically march her out of here so she could go and get some kit this morning. He's lucky to have her. He's lucky to have you all. I better get going. Why don't you stay for a bit, eh? Well, if you've got the time. Yeah. You would like that. See, the thing is... Yeah. Should have warned you. Tea's the only drinkable one. I know that machine inside out. Hmm. So what are they doing to him now? Giving him a wash. They even clean his teeth and give him a shave. Remarkable, isn't it? Just like he's going off to work. Hmm. He'll be back there soon. Oh, I can't drink that. You were right. <laughs> Do you know what these places need? A bar. <laughs> Can you imagine? All these worried, unhappy people. Stiff drinks, just what they need. I know I do. I'll have to have a word. Tell for some business. You'd have a lot of thankful relatives, I can tell you that. Eh? Hey, we wouldn't get a look in. The staff wouldn't have it all. I'll tell you what, tomorrow I'll bring us a flask. The Rover's finest dry white wine. We can sit here like a couple of old alkies at the bus stop. <laughs> I look forward to it. She's doing another shift tonight. Well, there are indications he might live. That's all. No idea the extent of the damage. You know, I heard about this bloke who was in a coma for three years and the doctors said he was definitely brain damaged, so they were, they were going to turn off the machine. Then he just opened his eyes, spoke French. He, he'd never even been to France. Who told you that? Tez. No, it's true. You, you can look it up. Well, yesterday I swore he opened his eyes. I mean, they sometimes flicker, you know, like when you're dreaming. Only then again, I stare at his face so long, I sometimes wonder if I'm just making it up. I hate to think of him trapped in there, having horrible dreams, not being able to get out. What do you want to talk to me about? Um, it's, it's David. I knew this was harder for him than his making out. Yeah, well, anyway, um... I'm just so glad he's got you to talk to. You know him better than anybody. You knew him back when he was a tearaway. He hasn't changed that much. <laughs> oh, he has. You should see the way he fusses over Kylie and the baby and the way he is with Max and okay, Nick. No. Right, there's something that you should know. He's there at the bedside every day, keeping us all together. And I've really let him down. Gail, you haven't let him down. I don't deserve him. <sighs> There he is. His elk. See ya. Bye. I'm having trouble with these new clocks. They're supposed to be good for your posture, but they only brought me neck coming down these stairs. Whew. Hoping to pop in and see Nick at lunchtime. Oh, if anything's gonna wake him up from his coma, it'll be them things. <laughs> Make sure you give him my love for what you it's worth worth a lot. Don't put yourself down. Put the table at the Put side. some emergency flats on. Not that I'm I mean, I can practically run this place blindfold. Excuse me. I should go see Carly if she's not well. She needed you, she text you, right? We'll wait for the end of sit down. That table in the corner so we're private. Yeah, sure. Okay. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. Hey, listen, David, I'm glad you're here because there's something I want to talk to you about. And listen, I prefer honesty. I can take it. I've got a thick skin. Um, David. Look, Leanne, I think you need to stop giving yourself such an hard time. Oh, will you stop being nice to me and just tell me the truth? Because I know what you're going to say. <laughs> Actually, I don't think you do. What? What is it? There's something I need to tell you. 
it happen. In case you haven't noticed, I've got a lot on my plate, so can you just get on with it? The thing is, Kylie's gone into labour. What? Yeah, she's having the baby. What now? David, don't just sit there. Move. Oh, hang on a minute. Go, go, go. Oh! Is it coming? Oh! Is it coming? Oh! Help me. Right, OK. Uh, um, well, I just did what any neighbour would do, you know. I saw that she needed help through the window. Through the window, yes. Thank you. Thanks. We can take it from here. Well, are you sure? Because I did use squat with Marcus. No, we'll be fine. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Bye. Right. First things first. Where's the bag? No, everything's going to be fine. Now, can you make it to the hospital? I can't even make it to the door. Kylie, did anybody find the midwife? I think Sean did. What do you mean you think Sean? Well, do you know Sean is? Well, don't try and be funny, Kylie. Oh, believe me, David, I didn't find him this morning. Did he phone him or not? Right, well, where's the number then? He's in the pack, the pack with all the information. Oh, where? 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 Calm where? down, David. Well, just phone the police. Yeah, I am going to phone the number. Yeah. Just, just pass me it. Oh, Kelly, have your water's oh. broke yet? Not yet. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my wife's gone into labour, but she don't think she can make it to the hospital. Bring drugs. Bring... Um, she's 37 weeks. Oh. How far apart are the contractions? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll just check my stopwatch. She don't know that. She just gave me a sarky answer. Yes, don't say that. Oh! They want to speak to you. Oh, oh yeah. Tell them I've got two words. Oh. Well, this is it. My mate's oh. wife. The midwife's on her way now. And an ambulance. And we can talk through on the phone anything that we need to. Um, she says we've got to make her really comfortable, uh, be it on the couch or on the floor or oh, a bed. Oh, we never worked that out, would we? She's only trying to help. You know, my friend Catherine gave birth in the porch because they say you need to get as close to the front door as you can, you know, so they can get to you quicker. Oh, that's all I need when Norris sweeping up outside. Well, they say the traffic's oh. terrible on the ring road now they've closed off Stanley Mall Road. Gail, is that helping? Oh. They're not far apart now. They're not far apart now. Oh, get that thing away um, from they me! They say every time you have a contraction, uh, you're supposed to breathe in and then out through your mouth. Do you hear that, Kylie? In through your... In through your what? Um, you're supposed to breathe in through a mouth or a nose. Your nose. Your nose. Not to flipping well breathe! Well, I think you better get them leggings off. Apart at all. Carol says, listen to your body. <gasps> no, I can feel it. It's coming, it's coming. Can you see the head? Can you see the head? <laughs> right, push when you need to. Uh, right, is this any good? Ninemonterup.com. In the event of a home birth, you might want to lie on your left side and get on all fours and bring your chest down to your knees. Do whatever your body tells you to do, and, and if you feel like pushing, push. Your face should be close to the floor and your bottom elevated. This may ease the urge to push. Do you want to push or not? Yeah, push, push. Go! Business. Well, I have to Is go. Is there all anything back round its neck? Um, she says when she's born, we need to get it as close to mum as possible. Um, wrap it in a towel. At something about body. Oh, she's beautiful. Yes, she's here. She's here. <laughs> David, congratulations. <laughs> oh, he says, he says, don't cut the cord. No, don't cut the cord. We need to leave it alone. <laughs> it's your girl. Yeah, she's moving. Oh, my God. Beautiful, Mom. She's all yours. Oh, baby. Oh. How's it going, eh? Way up. Midwife and paramedics are here. <laughs> How did I do? <laughs> Bad at all. Friends, <laughs> but I can only see his side of the family. God help if she turned out like mine. <laughs> no, I don't think there's all in it. Hey! I did take after your mum. Cheeky cow, in what way? No, I meant in terms of looks. No, not really. Not Becky looked like her a bit, but. What about your dad? Mm. Change the subject. Yeah, I know what you mean. He might still be chuffed for her. Yeah. She's well behaved, isn't she? You sure she's is? <laughs> right. I think my work here is done. Are you sure they don't have to go in? Mum's absolutely fine and so's baby. Who wants to go to hospital? Yeah, I'm into that. She does look like Daddy, doesn't she? Have we got a name yet? Uh, yeah, it's David. <laughs> Sorry? 
Oh, <laughs> do I have an appointment in mind? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ignore him, he's on another planet. Who can blame him? <laughs> See you tomorrow. Be about quarter past eleven, that suit? Yeah. Don't think I'm doing out. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks. See you. Thanks. Bye. And that's that. Mad, isn't it? One minute you're up and about minding your own business, next thing you know you've had a kid. It's the miracle of life. Oh, I can't wait to tell Nick. Ten little fingers, ten little toes. Nothing to fret about, apart from all the sleepless nights mm. you go. <laughs> Done and dusted in how many minutes? No hospital, no pain relief. Well, it's like that website said, those women are designed to have babies. If we can do it in mud huts and caves. Hey, don't talk it down. No, I'm not saying it was easy. It looked a nightmare from here. I like a little mittens. Do you know what they're for? To stop her scratching herself. Yeah, I know. Right, I'll leave you to it then. I'm sorry I showered at you. Oh, forget it. I remember when Nick was this size. If there's anything I can do. Oh, yeah, we'll let you know. Thanks. Right. Yes. Oh, David. What were you going to say earlier on? When? In the bistro. Oh, um. It wasn't important. It seems trivial now, even. Just, um, make sure you don't blame yourself, Leanne. What happened to Nick? He wasn't trying to answer the phone. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Thanks. Oh, congratulations. She's beautiful. Thanks. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> Dolly Pop! <laughs> <laughs> just to let you all know, Kylie's just had a baby girl. Seven pounds, eight ounces. Don't go out there. Can't you hear that? Hello? Hello again, ma'am. Uh, no, yes, everything's fine. OK, hang on a minute. Graham wants to speak to you again. Hi, Graham. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Does Max want to speak to me? Right, OK. And are you sure you don't mind him staying over? Thank you. Yeah, all right, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, bye. Better? I've been thinking, what about Lily? Lily? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Let me live with it for a bit. No, I was actually talking to him. Oh. <laughs> None of my business, is it? <laughs> lily. Yeah. Don't you think she looks like a lily? Um. I've always been texting you. Uh, Tina. Well, what does she mean by that? I expect she just means as she had it, yeah. Yeah, that's all. Very demanding, though. Well. Text about Bon. See how she likes <laughs> that with a one-word text. <laughs> Lily. Yeah, I think I like it. David, Kylie, Max and Lily. Would Max and Lily like to come out and play? Hey, have you seen Lily and Max's mum? She is roasting. <laughs> is that Lily and Max's grandma? Because she doesn't look old enough. <laughs> Hi, I'm David, Lily's dad. Aren't I? Yeah, of course you are. Or am I Lola's dad? No, I think you're Lily's dad. Yeah, so do I. Well, I think I'm sold. So am I. Well, there we go then. You little Miss Platt are called Lily. Pause, we should finish. Okay, you can touch her, all right, but you've got to be ever so gentle because she's only tiny. And when she looks up at you, she sees this giant Big Max, <laughs> all right? Come on. What are you thinking? Me? Just thinking how lovely you look. The four of you together. Yeah. And you know what's really great? Seeing David, I've been waiting for ages and now here he is. A proper dad. Which is, of course, what Max never had, so... Yeah. Proper family, aren't we? Is she a there? <laughs> yeah, she is. Oh, Dad. Are you still set on Lily? Lily, yeah. Why? Do you not like it? No, no, I think it's a lovely name. It's just... Well, I was at school with somebody called Lily and she kept a ferret and smoked wood pines. 
<laughs> Those impressions always start with you, don't they? Yeah, well, she'll not be smoking for a while yet. Yeah, and then it won't be woodbines. David, look, there's no need for you to come into work, sweetheart. I've been through the books and we can manage. I'm mm, good. I'm entitled to six months off, aren't I? European rules. Uh, I think you'll find that Weatherfield opted out of the not actually. Well, I'm not sure I could manage without him. Oh. He's been brilliant, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Nobody's ever had a better dad. Oh, because nobody's ever had such a beautiful baby, have they? No. So did you enjoy the barbecue? <laughs> you look like you're having a good time last night. I don't just want to forget all about it. How's the baby? Oh, she's lovely. But to tell you the truth, it's breaking my heart. What is? Seeing David with her, knowing what I do. Wow. And of course, Kylie knows, so we're looking at each other, and the poor lad hasn't a clue. Oh, hello, Leanne. Any news from the hospital? Nah, still the same. It must be awful for you. Yeah. Um, I've been telling Nicole about the new rival. And the part you played. Yeah. So I thought I'd come round and see how she's getting on, then I can tell him more about her. <laughs> you go in. I'll be with you in a minute. Give my love to Nick. Of course, what's really difficult, I think, is just not knowing. Is Lily David's or is she Nick's? Well, you're never going to know. Well, unless... Well, you can have tests, can't you? What, DNA? And they tell you, and whether we tell David or not, then that's another matter, but at least we all know the truth, because if we don't, then I don't know how long I can stand it before I forget myself and say something I shouldn't. Yeah, so he's coming and here. The doctors are still saying the same thing. Yeah, there's still a chance he'll have long-term problems. So there's a chance he what? Yeah, well, either way, we'll just have to do everything we can to help him, to help you. Of course we will. And nothing else matters. We mustn't let anything else get in the way. Well, no, and it won't. Why does everything have to be such a mess? It's just one thing on top of another, and we don't know anything, do we? We don't know what's going to happen to Nick, and we don't yeah, know about... Yeah, but it's like you said, we've all got to stick together. And we will. Yeah, of course we will. Thanks. I'm in the bathroom. Are you avoiding talking to me? Well, I'm a bit busier, have you not noticed? Can't avoid the subject forever. Why not? Lily's my baby, she's all I care about, and you know what? I think it's all David cares about. Maybe because he doesn't know the truth. No, and let's hope he never will. Hello, anybody? It's only me. Oh, Gail, now, I've come to take you for a drink, and we're going to toast the health of, well, let's just say your granddaughter, yes? She'd love to, wouldn't you, Gail? Yes. Hello, everybody. Else? Tina, love. Didn't sleep a wink last well, night. No, well, you wouldn't. Not with a new little baby no, in the it house. No, wasn't there. Uh, same again, please, Tina. Okay. Oh, do you know? I'll say this about Kat. When David first brought her home, I thought that is not going to last longer than a week. But she's made him a really good wife, hasn't she? Hasn't she? No. I mean, is there something I should know? No. No, I just, I'm just tired. I think I better go home. Uh, but I'm buying you a drink now. Okay, is it just the one then? Yes, it sounds like it's just the one. So you're going to let me drink on my own, are I've you? I've got a house full of people to look after. Yes, them. all right. All I was saying is, I think Kylie makes David a very good wife. Yes. Yes. Bye. Bye. Are you sure you can manage? Yes. I just don't think it can go on. I certainly know I can't without finding out the truth. And how do I do that? Take one of them DNA tests. David need never know anything about it. It'd break his heart if he found out. That's what I'm saying. There's no reason why he should. Then, when you get the result, depending on what it was, you could decide what you wanted to do. I don't know how much longer she'll sleep for. Morning. Oh, sorry. Morning. Morning. Hey, I thought you'd be at work by now. No. Gran said I could go in a bit later. What, so you could do the washing up? No. Because I could spend some quality time with my lovely ladies. It's not a problem, is it? Don't be daft. We love having you here. Good. What are you making? 
Eggy soldiers. Not keep your strength up. Don't you think I'm a bit old for eggy soldiers? No one's ever too old. Besides, it's all I know how to make. I'll go. Wrong. No more avoiding the subject. Have you thought about what you're going to do? Have I thought? I ain't flaming thought about anything else. Look, I know this is difficult for you. A slight understatement. Yeah, that said... Look, Gail, I can't talk about this now. And when? Hold so long. You all right? Smart, how are you two? She thinks she's spy on me. No, yeah, well, so what if I do? It's only because you're worth it. Mm. The monitor's off. Is it? Mum, well, you got to stop buying cheap rubbish, you know that. You're not working? She's when she's asleep. Oh. Well, you take after your dad. David was a terrible sleeper, wasn't he, Gail? Uh, yeah. I swear he saved it all up till his teens, cos we could never get him out of bed then. <laughs> oh, hello, talk of the devil. Yeah, I knew you'd be here. You said you were nipping out for a sauna. Yes, well, come on, couldn't resist it. Look at her little face. Yeah, I know, Grant. She's beautiful, but you've got to cut and blow in ten minutes. Listen, Mrs Yardley can wait. Anyway, I was just saying how the baby takes after you. Really? Hmm. Everyone says she looks like Kyla. Thank God. Oh, no. Come on, I'll have you know he was a beautiful baby. Gail, on the other hand, was nothing to write home about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she always had such a grumpy little face, you know, very intense. <laughs> like she was always on the potter. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's another story. <laughs> oh. Hey! Why don't we take Lily in to see Nick, eh? Would you like to meet your uncle, darling? Would it make you happy, eh? Do you know, I'm sure that could be the tonic he needs. Hmm? Oh, please, don't all look so excited. Right, we'll just give that a few minutes. That's if I'm not banned like the little oh, baby. Man. I don't know why you're all poo-pooing the idea. I mean, what harm could it just possibly do? Leave it, will you? We can't go anywhere, I've just checked. You're not allowed to take little babies on the ward. Oh, I see. And anyway, I'd rather do it when at least one of them has an idea what's going on. Well, what does that mean? Well, won't it be better for Nick if he's actually conscious first time he meets his niece? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you later. See you. Bye, ma'am. I knew he'd be good with the baby, but he's, like, amazing. He loves her to bits. We're a family, a team, and I've been mad to jeopardise that. It's not as simple as that, though, is it? Well, it is for me. I am not having a DNA test, no way. So just drop it. So, did you get her to the... Oh, isn't she a little peach? Oh, I could just eat her. I'd rather you didn't. Yeah, can I just have toast like everyone else? Aren't you a lucky boy, eh? I have such a beautiful little sister. Yeah, come on, Max. You better shake a leg now. No, it's OK. You stay with Lily. I'll walk Max to school. Oh, nice one. I want David to take me. Yeah, I know, mate. I've just been up all night, that's all. Can I just have one more little hold? Yeah, fill your Before boots. we go. Yes. Oh, can I just have a couple more photos with you? Oh, how many more do you need? You've got hundreds. Oh, yeah. Go on. Yeah, all right, but uh, don't get too close. Well, Mum, you're a granny now, twice over. I don't think anybody's going to begrudge you a few wrinkles. Oh, tell me wrinkles. I'm worried about, thank you very much. You got too close last time. Lily came out all blurry. So the cheese, then. Cheese. So the cheese. <laughs> cheese. Mm. I'll nip to the hospital later. Yeah, well, you let me know if there's any change. Yeah. If he wakes up, you'll be the first to know, I promise. Hey, how was school? Boring. Have you been to see Nick? Yeah. He got so pale, lying there. Made me wonder. About what? Well, is he short of vitamin D? You get it from sunlight. Not much of that in hospital. Well, he gets all his nutrition through that drip, doesn't he? Well, he mitts, he soaked through. Yeah, I found that in the bin. Don't know where it got there. Well, I think I can take a wild guess. The little green-eyed monster raises its ugly head. How do you mean? Max. Jealous. Max, come here and give your mummy a kiss. Hey. Mwah. 
Now, if you're really gentle, you can give Lily a little kiss as well, if you want. Don't wanna. Oh, go on. She loves the big brother to bits. Well, I don't love her. She's noisy and she's stinky and she looks like a pig. It's <laughs> gone. Hey, dear Max. Happy birthday to you. You all right, birthday boy? Where's Mum? She's upstairs looking after your beautiful baby sister. Mm, sisters spoil all the fun, don't they? Don't worry, mate. We'll sing it again soon. And candles and everything. I think the birthday boy should have pancakes for breakfast. Oh, she never made me any pancakes. Oh, I did. I do. What's the matter, mate? Nothing. Mate, you're a big brother now. Pretty soon you'll be babysitting and everything. Oh, I thought that was my job. Yeah, well, not for much longer. I'll tell you what. Why don't we invite some of your mates round, yeah? And we have herself a bit of a pie. How's that sound, eh? You fancy it? Bit of pasta parcel, musical chairs, some tequila slammers. Could even give you some birthday bumps, couldn't we? Do you want pancakes? Yep. You toss them and we'll eat them, won't we? Cow's back. He reckons I've got some loose tiles on the roof. Oh, those look nice. Yeah, well, you wait till everybody else gets here. Oh, come on, they're not going to miss one little sausage. Ah! Oh, Leela. Where's Lily? Asleep. Don't you go waking her up. I can't believe how he's grown. <laughs> You only saw him last week. Yeah, but it's seeing him up against my own furniture. Mm -hmm. No, he goes through shoes like there's no tomorrow. Well, some kids are tough on clothes, aren't they? <sighs> uh, his sister can wear clothes out coming back from the shop, but him, he could make them last for years. <laughs> we'll start talking about me again, Mother. Well, your ears burning. <sighs> Where's Max? He's just upstairs. Yeah, he's sulky. Ah. Uh, oh, I'll get it. So, Leanne was saying that there's no change for Nick. No. No, I must take some pictures. I want to record everything he's missing so that he can see them when he wakes up. Yeah. Well, I've got my camera phone, so I'll take some on that as well. If his lordship ever dares to join me. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, we're late. You're right. Where's Max? Uh, he's upstairs. He'll be down in a minute. Listen, I've not had a chance to buy a present. I've just got back from hospital. You're OK. But I've put some money in a card. Oh. How is he? Uh, he's still sulking. You know, I don't know what I'm going to say to him. I've just got this feeling this whole party's going to be one big disaster. <sighs> Gran, another glass of wine. Oh, go on, it never did any harm. Simon, turn that volume down. You can't hear it for you lot talking. <laughs> I'm telling you. At least our party. <sighs> if only I had an answer for everything. Turn it down. Would you need it ready if you want to start? Is Max still upstairs? Yeah. I've been up to get him twice as well, but it's just not shifting. Oh, well, he'll come down when he's ready, eventually. Eventually? That's not good, is it? If he wants any of his birthday cake. He has cake every other day. Yeah, I mean, it's special this time. I don't know why you're fretting. There'll be plenty of time for more parties, especially now we've got Lily. Yeah, but we're only having this party to make him feel better. I mean, what's the point if he's stuck up there? It's all going to waste. Aye, what's got into you? Well, I have been thinking, if he's feeling pushed out because of Lily, yeah? Yeah. Well, why don't I adopt him? Are you serious? Yeah. He'll be Max Platt then, instead of Turner. And we can all be a proper family then, and I'll be a proper dad to him. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And what's to stop us then? Well, I'll be able to call you daddy. <laughs> Have you been listening? <laughs> Will I? Only if you want to, yeah. Can we do that, Mummy? Of course we can. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if you can get this working. I love you. That is amazing. Mm. It's what I want as well. How do you manage to get him down? Uh, parenting skills. He heard David say that he wants to adopt him. Oh, that's wonderful. Isn't that brilliant? Well, you're looking at a few grand, I reckon. You know, there's uh, scaffolding, labour materials. I'll price you know if you want. Wouldn't you normally do a patch-up job or no, something? No, not with dry rot you can. Love. All the timbers are going to have to come up. And to get at them, you've got to get the tiles and everything up. Oh. You know, it's a major operation. I've got dry rot in my roof, apparently. Well, that's serious, isn't it? Yeah, even I've heard of that. Oh, thank you, ladies. A little sympathy wouldn't go amiss. Well, I'll leave it with you anyway. Oh. Look, I'm sorry, I'm only the messenger. See ya. Oh. 
So what does that mean? Well, it means I've got to move out while it's done. Seriously? Well, yeah. Owen says the whole roof's got to come off, apparently. Well, where will you live? Well, I don't know. He's only just told me. Well, um, we put you up, but, um, well, we haven't got a lot of room now with a new baby. <clears throat> We'd best be getting off anyway. Well, <laughs> looks like I'll have to be going to a and b at this rate. Well, it won't be forever, will it? He'd want you to be here. Yeah, and he'd want you to have fun and all. Scrap that. He'd want you to have a shed load of fun. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, uh, better not disappoint him then, eh? Ah, uh, now we're talking. <laughs> Does oh. anyone see Carl? Oh, I left about ten minutes ago, Deb shortly after him, and there's still my cake to cut. Oh, they'd have popped out for a crafty cigar. No chance. Not with me packing these bad boys. Mm. I still think it's very odd, Dev turning up like that. Mum, give it a rest. Well, you should have seen the way he was looking at you at the registry office. Oh, he was acting a bit weird. Wasn't oh, he? please. Mm, Carl was a bit edgy and all. Oh, all right. Dev does not fancy me. Okay. <laughs> I should hope not, because Carl would have something to say. <laughs> 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 Oh, admit it. Was it 9 99 from Fresh Goes? Oh, pretend I didn't hear that. Oh, did you bake it yourself, then? Well, with a little help from Lorraine Pascoe. Oh, it looks good. Is it chocolate? It's carrot. Thought I'd go for the less obvious. She's all right, Lorraine, you know. Not one of those know-it-all cooks. She reckons you should always have a supermarket pizza in the freezer. We're alike in many ways. Got to get you hitched next. Is that burning? I can smell because it must be your pants. Are you not breastfeeding? No, no, it comes out. <laughs> she gets bottle and breast. Yeah, we like to mix it up a bit. It keeps from her toes. Do you know what? I'm not sure if the baby cries because she's hungry or because she's got to look at this. Oh, come on, lady. What you need is a little trim and a blow dry. No, I've got stuff to do. Yes, you have. Oh. House is a tip. Enough to put burglars off. All right, Mum, give her a break. Haven't she got enough on her plate? She's got enough on her plate. I'm backwards and forwards to the hospital, helping to run the bistro and tidying up after you two. You've upset her now. Thanks. Oh. And she's frightened of loud noises. Oh, I do beg your pardon. <sighs> do you know, Nick was a terrible crier. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He cried non-stop for at least 18 months. It used to drive me mad when I was minding him. And then someone told me that uh, if you drove him round in the car, that was a surefire way of getting him to sleep. Did it work? No, no, but with the radio full blast, I couldn't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad we can all laugh while Nick's in a coma. I mean, no point in letting a little thing like that get us down, is there? Gail, please, look, I'm just trying to keep our spirits up. We're all as desperate as you are for Nick to wake up. Oh, that um, adoption stuff came through this morning, by the way. Oh, lovely. Oh, that means Max is yours just as much as Lily is. Oh, one. It took ages to get her off then. It does sometimes. <sighs> David's much better with her than I am. He only has some of it at Rizzle Kicks and she's out like a light. He adores her. Don't. Well, that's a good thing. Is it? <sighs> the more he bonds with her, the more it'll break his heart if he finds out she's not his. You know, um, ever since the accident, I've thought, uh, well, if... if Nick did die... He's not gonna die. The doctors have said. That's what the doctors say. I'm his mother. I can't help but think... I can't help but think the worst. And if the worst happens... Well, if Lily turns out to be his... She'd be all I had left of him. This is what people do. Now you can even consider it with Nick still in a coma. Yeah, you know, that's what Gran said as well. I just thought it'd be something nice, you know, all the family together and positive. But it won't be all the family, will it? Because Nick won't be there. Frankly, if Nick's not there, I don't see the point. Yeah, I thought you wanted him for Godfather. Look, I just want us to be a proper family, that's all. Like you, me, Max and Lily. You are a proper family. Yeah. Dressing up old Ponzi and dunking her in water won't make any difference. 
Hello. There we go. All clean. Uh, do you want to take her? No, I've just done my nails. Not that it's made much difference. Everything all right? It's Leanne. He's woken up. 